Now I'm going to show you how to do gear assemblies using mechanical mates. Before we do that, we have to modify our gear drawing a little bit. If you in your gear if you don't have this hole, you have to draw those hole and I'll show you what is the ratio of those hole that th those two hole has to be in the ratio of your gear sizes. If you're using same size gear, then you, the hole can be of any size. If you use different size gear to mate, then you can start with any size hole for one and the other one has to be in the same ratio of the size difference of the each gear. This is an example of creating the hole for mechanical mate of gears. If I have a gear one that has 23 teeth and PCD is 230, gear 2 is 17 teeth and PCD 170, the change or difference in the gear size will tell us what would be the hole size difference. So if I took a gear 2 and make a hole of 12 millimeter, the, for the gear 1, the hole size, hole size will be 12 multiplied by the gear 1 size divided by the gear 2 size and 16.235 so this will be our whole size of gear 1 so coming back to our drawing uh, the small gear has a 12 millimeter size hole at the center and the bigger gear according to the ratio it has 16.235 millimeter before we start drawing we also have to do one additional thing is that we need center point to be visible you can easily do that by selecting sketch and a surface of the gear and say um, point and then just click at the center and it will create a point I have already created a point you can see there so so this is the two modification we need before we can do gear mates we need holes according to their size and we just need two center point and I will show you why. So once we are ready, we start with mate. I'm selecting the top surface of the both gear and I'm selecting coincident so they will be parallel aligned. So now I have to separate them and this is why we need the center points. So I'm selecting the first center point and the other center point and I'll go down and select the distance. Now what will be our distance? If we know our PCD of the both of the gear, one is 230 plus 170 divided by 2 which is 200. And I want a little bit of gap so let's do... Two hundred three millimeter, and say yes. And they are uh, you see aligned. All I I have to accept, and then now I have to rotate one to align them. On the assembly, you will see move component. I'll select rotate and free drag. So I'll just rotate this one to align uh, with my other gear and accept so they are aligned we're good to go finally we'll do another mate and we'll go downward i'll come here mechanical mates and i will select gear and it will ask for the mates right um and this is the reason we have to select these two circles um because it will create that ratio so I'm selecting the first um, slur and then the second and it created the ratio that we need and I say yes without that ratio it will not create an accurate mate so um, if I accept you will see here on the mate it is not showing any red light or signal so meaning it is done it's gear mate so now i can go to my motion study so just to remember before you generate your gear mate 
make sure that both of your gear are in float you can right click and see if it's fixed meaning is float it is asking for you to fix it so both of them are float option and then you will see um, simulation like this but if you if you have um, before you do the gear mate you can try you can delete this gear mate and make either one fixed so you can make this one fixed by clicking right and fixed and if you do that and after this one float and this is fixed if you do the gear mate you will see um, the simulation like this so just uh, make before you make before you make your mechanical mate make sure that both of them are in float uh, before you um, make the mechanical mate thank you